trying to get is actually an expandable one. It's a lot of plastic. Those will expire in about two months. So we'll have to replace these for the project. This way here, we'll just get right in the belt. And if it's ever needed for another office, we'll sell it to the public. The office has it right in his belt, easy to manage. Right. What is that in the It's a turn kit. Oh, just a turn kit. Oh, OK. So I have purchase order number 1695 to the 1110 LLC company for 13 cases and 13 tourniquets for a grand total of $836.29. And that will come out of the equipment line item. We currently have uh, over $4,400 left in it. Great. Uh, I'll move purchase order number 1695 uh, to the 1110 LLC. Uh, Eight thirty-six twenty-nine for tourniquet. I'll second it. Any discussion? Do, do these ones expire? Or is that no, no, these ones. Those are these ones. Probably the other ones with the elastic kind. Yeah. Elastic goes right. Goes after last. Okay. Um. All set. Yep. All those in favor say aye. Aye. aye.
for us. For sure. No, it was always been in the last three or four months. It was in the last three or four months. Well, that was because you're in it. Wasn't it because we weren't supposed to? Um, it was because we determined that with the auditor that we found out that retirees are not subject to it. <coughs> so, um, oh, but you have completely still the Social Security, right? So he had been paying into it because he was set up that way. I don't think that we're making that decision. We were told about I think about the decision it. was it's more that up. we're not now, and then if yeah. you want to, like, you know, reverse that, maybe. Like, there was a, there was, so conversation was whether or not to go back in time and make any kind of adjustment about back in time. I don't believe the auditor made a recommendation about that. And then um, just because that was the way it was, it was it was more of a notification that we found out it wasn't allowed and then the board could decide to. But you did I think come and request that you wanted to continue. Right, when I spoke with the folks of Social Security, they said that it's not required, um, obviously, but you can pay into the system if you want. Mm -hmm. So. Because you're eligible to get Social Security where some people aren't, right? Because they didn't have it taken out. Correct. Is that correct? Okay, correct. so before you're, well, before you became a police officer, you must have an order, and that's what you're. But somewhere along the line, uh, I'm not sure it was the state of New Hampshire or, or the Social Security folks have de deemed that if you collect a pension yeah. when you retire, Social Security will cut up to 40% of your Social Security benefits. Yeah. And that's that's fairly recent from what I understand. So yeah. they, they, they've come together with some agreement uh, with the state of New Hampshire to do that. I don't know why, but but my concern is that uh, you know, in the three years that I have left uh, here, mm -hmm. I would hope I would hope that the town would still pay into Social Security for me, and I would contribute as well, so that when it does come time, when I do collect, that 40% that reduction would be a little bit less than what it, what it, would, it would be when I'm paying into the system. Yeah. Um, I, I would suggest that the board actually have a conversation about that and make a specific decision because I don't think right. it was a decision. I think it was more of a, this is the, this is what we found out, and this is what the auditor recommendation was. And, and so that's why, why we pursued doing it. Right. And then okay, so I don't think it was, it was an official vote on no. our side. No. Okay. Okay. Well, I know how to test on so. Yeah. Yeah. So we acted on the auditor's recommendation, but we didn't make a decision on it as a, as a board. So um, let's put it on the next agenda to yeah. um, look at, uh, Look and make a final. Uh, is he the only one that's affected by this? Because yes. other police officers are not eligible for Social Security, correct? Correct, unless they work a part time job someplace else. Right, right, right. As far right, as right. But, law yeah. enforcement, full time law enforcement. Okay. Okay, so let's just put on the agenda and make sure we know all of the rules and then we'll get back to you on that. Okay, thank you. That's all that I have for you folks. Same thing for me. Um, I'm curious what came out of the traffic safety or highway safety. Or actually, I didn't do this before. I this. If anything came. Um, uh, the first the issue that we had was Anna and Miller. And North Coast blocking roads. So we're dealing with that. Um, there was an issue about Front Street and um, Main Street. Gentleman down there who lives right around the corner was hoping that the freeway stop sign there was crossing around the corner. Mm -hmm. As he's trying to get pulled into his driveway, back out of his driveway, the cars are flying out. Uh, we deemed that was really a state issue, or really not a local issue, rather than law enforcement. Um, as far as Bear was concerned, uh, it was at this point that uh, I'm not sure that adding more signage um, was going to help the problem, um, other than maybe getting us up there. Um, did, did, I don't know if, if the speed limit on Sligo came up, but that was on the agenda. Um, well, we're talking, not, we're let's talk about briefly. Uh, I actually did find an old one that said all streets in town are 30 miles an hour with the exception of Bear Road, which is listed 35 grade. In order to reduce a speed limit from a state posted zone that's urban, or business, the 
town would have to go to traffic and engineering stuff, which means you have to hire someone to come in and the roadway, accidents that you've had with the roadway, the number of houses, commercial buildings, all that. Um, without that having a study done, the town does not have the authority to lower speed limit from where the state has already established the speed zone to be. So generally, all roads in town are 30 miles an hour, with the exception of the area, which is 35. Which would be fine if they went 35. Correct. And, you know, and I, I know you live out there, but um, um, we have complaints about speeding every single road. Yeah. I can tell you, oh, even, yeah. even Locust Street and Prospect Street, we get calls about people speeding. And it's just society, the part of the society, everybody leaves the last week and wanted to get there 10 minutes ago. Yep. Unfortunately. So. Yeah, but, and I, I certainly know you, you can't be everywhere at once. It's, it's just, it's been crazy. That's why I don't leave my house in the <laughs> but, but certainly, you know, after November first, once the guys at the cabinet store trying to us, we'll start seeing two cars out there. Uh, specifically, you know, late afternoon and evening, yep. a little more in town. So that's no, that's going to be a good help. You know, finally get the full staff and get some folks out there, and a little more traffic as opposed to just running off the call. So. He's out of the academy in the next couple of weeks. Right. Yes. August twenty third, I think it is. Yeah. He's expected to make it through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 no problem. That's awesome. doing very well. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I'm Mike Gillis, is the chair. Oh, awesome. He's elected as chair. Um, we, we talked about flaggers. Um, on, uh, there was concern about um, the Navigating Heritage, that their flaggers were not visible enough. And maybe we should have had the police in that area because of the staging of trucks. Like, right, right. Them taking the whole, uh, the whole road, so we need to think right. about that going forward. George was there and he heard the conversation. Also, they talked about striping and um, for the highway, and um, it's not in the budget. We didn't take it out, um, so it I'm sure will be in this year's budget, yeah, um, but it, it was never taken out by, as long as I know, it's never been taken out by this select board or traffic committee. Okay. So it just got lit. That mess or whatever, so I'm sure. Because there's some issues um, in the striping that Todd wants to do. Um, so he's worked out something with George already on oak and rounds, yes. White lines? Yeah, right. yeah, George yeah he's got, he said he'll be able to do that by the light. So. What, a, what a long lines cost? Uh, well, George, George and I spoke about that just a few minutes ago, and he has uh, some information to present to you. Good, good. So that was, okay. that's the only other next step I have on that. Great, thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right, uh, fire is not here. Highway.
Well, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, that's fine. Yeah. 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 Are you going to in your hand? I have it in one. It's a uh, four year guidelines out of that all mass for a two. I put up to $2,000 and then he said it's. Well, I told him it's roughly three and a half months. I think we cover the okay. it cost. Yeah. So, so I'll, I'll move purchase order uh, 1665 to four year guidelines for up to $2,000. So we have money left over from the paving budget. Okay. Is that um, something that we can use? Absolutely. Okay. And I, I, we're not done yet. I did a budget line item next year. So we can try to keep it together. Yes. So this will do every single road that we have a line on. It can, it can but it doesn't need to be done every year, does it? Or? No. Oh. Okay. It's going to be a year occasionally, but you know. Like, like the, the line on Barrow Road that was done when it was paved three years ago? Right. And it's, it's not it's existing. Been, it's pretty well faded last year. Yeah. You know, I mean, they don't last long. It, and that, the more traffic, the more they're going to get worn out. Of course, when you plow them, you scrape them off. Mm -hmm. um, so there's other plans for that? Well, I, there's no, we're not done with the project for the roads yet, right? Well, it's just a gravel. We have to do some gravel. Okay, so I know we have a plus million, plus 25 um, left over? Um, it's been well over that. Well over so far. Okay. Well, and George hasn't presented, I think he has some other small areas he wants to take care of so to, out of that line. I need to know before we vote on right. spending something else, what are those other projects and what do you estimate the cost? I, I, I roughly estimated the square on church. Probably less than two thousand dollars to that scale. Mm -hmm. So and that's something that we play this we ought to start thinking about. Alright, what about the one on Cricket Lane? Cricket Lane is just basically we're not gonna do the square this year. We're not doing it. Okay. We're just gonna clean it out and see how it what functions. happens with that. Okay. So there shouldn't be an associated cost to that. Now where did you say the first one was? Church Street. Church Street. Is that over by the uh, what the old Redmond Club was? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Actually, club, actually, it's from it's Franklin. Sports and club. It actually, it should be done from Frank. I measured from Franklin Street down to past that property okay. because all the water runs. It, there's no place of water to go, so we're just going to divert the water down here and keep it out of all the properties. It's not just them that's getting water; they're the ones that are complaining the lot. Okay. All right. And is there any else anywhere else in town that you are projecting to do? No, it's not for that. Place. Okay, so there should be more than enough money to get rid of The only other thing you say you're doing is that cover they, they cover that by the farm on uh, we're gonna take that up to see if the rules go out more uh down. On Grandma? Down by the yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. okay. That's uh, if we can get the other pipe out of there, that opens that cover back up and we can mm -hmm. take care of paper has a cover the water paper again. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we have enough money and we can use that money to get this project done. Yeah. So. I, I, I just, I, I feel like it's not going to be mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So let's make sure that it stays in the yeah. budget going forward. Yeah. It just was an oversight. Nobody caught it. So we just make sure we can maintain that. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so that's all that we have to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Up to $2,500, but you've got a smaller... On one street? 
Well, um, so so to do that, what I what I was going to say is to do the you know the full um, up through what what you usually do, which is I think a Hasperkaris. You can say more than I can about where you go. Where the curbing is, the only place it requires a second sweeping is where there's curb line yeah. for the water that flows down along the curb, and of course it's dragging dirt that means it's safe on the road. Uh, so that would be basically the downtown section. The very downtown. So it's, it's you know it's you're doing about half of what you normally would sweep. But you got you got drainage going down Main Street, don't you? That has the curbs. That's all state. state. Are they going to have to do that? Because that affects us in the stormwater. Theoretically, they should be doing that. Yes. Twice. Yes. Will they? And we, no. we don't know if they do it twice. Do they? I mean, do they know that they're supposed to? They have their own. Um, yes, they have their own MS4 permit. So I'm sure they're aware of all the things that they're supposed to do. Okay. So. I know it's not our responsibility, however, it is our responsibility to make sure that our stormwater drains are not having things in there that they shouldn't, right? Well, right, and this is where it gets complicated because we're not supposed to do work on state roads, but their catch basins are, you know, we have transfer into our catch basins before they go out into the river. So it might behoove us to go, you know. When he's sweeping, he doesn't pick up his room, he goes. Uh, one street down the side of the road. He's, uh, just I know. I'm just saying uh, we need to make sure that we plan ahead, that make sure that we get the proper okay by the state that we're going to do this or whatever we have to do, because it's going to affect us as a town with stormwater, even though it's a state road. Yes. So I'm just saying. So you might just notify them, unless you're going to do it, we're going to do it, and and then hope they give you. He's here by now. He's going to be You know, it's it's. A little bit of time to think to write it down there. Well, right, so it's worth paying for, but we should still give District 6 the courtesy of letting them know that we're... That's what, she, that's what she's saying, that we have to, because of the storm, why I have it done twice, then you might want to think about that for next year and yeah. buy it. I don't think I need mean, that. I apologize for making this last section. I know they have some of their own treatment, but a lot of places I know, but I didn't. I put up to 1500 I think, I don't think it's going to be that. Okay. That's for show them service and that's Um, all right, so I'll move purchase order, uh, 1629, uh, to show them services for up to $1,500 for downtown sweeping. I'll second it. Um, any questions? So how did we, how did we find out we needed to do this and how did we miss it? Uh, um, that's all stormwater coalition information. Um, they were reminding us at the last meeting that it is still a requirement and it starts this year, our first year of the permit. Okay. okay. All right. So just... And I did up the issue. Okay. All right. Um, any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye.
feel for, for the machine and the square equipment is $4,066.95. They will come and train us with the machine and uh, etc. And they the warranty on it for the service contract we get from Rayco. I'm going to take the machine for the first year service for $7,000. And set up extra set of uh, tweet tips. So, I'll move purchase order 1664 to Franklin Paint for $4,066.95 for the line striper and spare parts kit. Okay, I'll second it. Questions? So, the one that we were using from the Housing Authority. It's the same machine. We thought that we would be able to keep it? No, no. It was, we were just on we one to use it. You know, we, we had it since last summer. Oh, okay. Because they weren't using it much, and now they're going to start to stuff, and they don't know when they're going to finish their stuff up. And that would be an end of the year. Yeah. And then, I, I get to the budget for the year. And what was the amount that you put in the budget? $4,000. Yeah, 4000 Just 4000 Well, it's in the equipment. It's in the equipment. It wasn't a special warrant? No, no, no. no. It was just in no, a special warrant. It was okay. part of okay. this equipment. Okay. Yeah, it went up a little bit since last year. It was so knowing that you weren't going to buy this, did you, did you still have that money in the budget? Oh, yeah, we okay. Uh, I All right. Uh, okay. All right. Any other discussion? All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Yeah, 
railroad crossings all have to be redone. All the stop lines should have yeah, all the stop signs should have a stop line. Yeah. So that's all part of that.
lastly, I removed purchase order 1656 to fire tech and safety of New England um, for $311.85 for repair and recalibration of the CO meters. to what we have as a building now to 
what would we want for a really great, like, very well-functioning administrative building? So, um, to renovate it fully at one time. So it does have some some things in there, but it doesn't have. It, they didn't do an asbestos study. Um, maybe they should have. I, I don't think they even noted that. They're not noting um, anything about ADA or, or some other things mm -hmm. like that. It wasn't really that kind of a mm -hmm. an assessment. Okay. Okay. I hate going around and doing the same yeah, thing over and over again. Which right. Should have been properly determined back then. You know, I mean, asbestos is one of the things that everyone worries about. When doing, well, and that know. one, you know, is is not a lot of money um, to to test for. Mm -hmm. So you can at least t I, I think I think we could easily afford to test for it in this in this budget. You know, in the current year we're in. And that way, we at least have determination and know that we're working on it. If you know we're doing work in a certain room, or it's outside of the scope of something that you know we immediately need to deal with, you know. So um, I do have a, a lead also on another um, paint vendor who deals with lead paint. So I'm hoping to get another quote for. Portico, not for its structural issues, but for um, the painting. I, I would still, um, I think it still makes more sense to deal with, you know, he's just a painter, so he can't deal with whatever is structurally going on there. Why would you paint it before we had the structural effects? I'm not suggesting that you do, oh, it's oh. just a quote so oh, that okay. you know that when you get there, what it's going to cost. Okay. okay. All right. Um, is lead paint inside the building? Say again? Is lead paint inside the building as well? I, to my knowledge, it's never been tested, and so I believe that ought to happen too, so that we know how to deal with it. Because I mean, weren't all of those like where you are? All of those rooms repainted when the renovation happened, and that's yes. The and so that is one way to handle it is to fully encapsulate it. The other is to remove it, and so you could go one way or the other with it. But mm -hmm. um, recall that the foyer of the building has peeling paint. Mm -hmm. We don't know what that is, mm -hmm. and so that's you know more than one layer. Mm -hmm. That's true. Those, like those walls could have been green. It wasn't stripped to the studs. I mean, you might have known. No. Well, I guess they probably put like sheet metal on top of whatever was there. Oh, okay. so. um, best case scenario, yeah. Just Clearly, we know that it wasn't done. Well, in the woodwork, it should have been. If nothing else, the woodwork around the, the windows is original. Yeah. So we have a lot of work to do to, to find out what we don't know, yeah. um, and to even assess to, to even assess all the categories of things that we need to be looking into. So um, I would, you know, that's part of the committee's charge, and I think mm -hmm. one of the things to talk to them about about how best to go forward to um, assess what we need to know. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, please consult. Um, the contract, I don't know if you two have had a chance to review it, if you're ready to sign it, or if you want to look over it again, if it's in your folder there. I'm just feeling like, so we've got these pieces that fit together somehow, right? So the town hall is a structure. I'm just not sure like, where to... So the, the police consultant will tell us size that we would need, right, so it's of a, well, of a so structure. They will be able to comment on things including and outside of the structure. Right. There didn't have too many vehicles or not yeah, enough vehicles. Staff Do they vehicles. have to be staff, not Given enough staff? Oh, you know. Officer patrolman ratio. Oh, right. And, um, so it's not just building. How bad would it be to make deal with space? they're in and you know what size buildings be up to code for the size police for so so really what they're starting with is our data about number of calls, yep. time of day, day of the week and duration and nature of the call. Yep. And then um, for, for our population and then taking that data to determine um, what kind what what we need for a facility, if anything. 
um, they may in fact recommend that it's, you know, that you can renovate and stay where you are and this specific thing would be the hardship with that and then you could evaluate whether or not that hardship would be, you know, worthwhile or not. But if, but if the recommendation is to build a new building, they're looking at the development pressure within the region to determine with the amount of open space that Rollinsburg has, um, the potential development that can happen in Rollinsburg, what would be the appropriate size of the station to be um, fitting the needs of the community for the next 50 years, so that if you're building it, it's the right thing, you know, right. for the life of the building. And I do think it's an important piece of information. We probably should move forward with it. <laughs> so long to get back to us on those. Well, we just a little concerned. I think it comes down to they're small, and um, if you know, in a case such as this, it's a contract for, for money. So, for an, in a worst case scenario, you don't get the information or you don't get it in a timely manner, but you don't. They're not getting the money either. Mm -hmm. So, they're not really out anything except for potentially time. Right. Yeah, they're just delaying. Yeah, our process. Yeah. You know, that's all. It just it just took them for so long to get back to us. So I agree. And I just I'm uncomfortable with it. Is it in here? It is in there. That's all ever stores we're going through now. Um that I know so the public said, safety strategies group thing that happened. I know you said this before, but do we have what if we sign this tonight uh projected start date or they can start pretty immediate, like within the next two weeks okay. or so, like pretty immediately. And isn't it the way the world goes that they were asking me, like they were following up on no. and they signed it yet. So I think, oh, you know, really? they, they sort of marked out the time in their calendar to work on it. So the budget is for 7500 right? For the scope that it says that we talked about. But, you know, um, so you've got to give them 2500 to begin the study, and the sum of 2500 after the on-site review, and the sum of 2500 after the formal presentation, or 30 days after submission of the final report, whichever is first. Sorry, I, I moved that we, um, I guess, authorize Carolyn to sign. No, it's in your name. It is in my name? Yeah. Oh, I missed that. Okay, so you can authorize me to sign it. Um, <laughs> sign the contract with professionals. Sorry, I missed the company. Uh, the Public Safety Strategies Group um, to do a consulting contract for the uh, police department. Property taxes in full, 
Yes. Oh, okay. So, so that's the way the process works. If you don't pay your property taxes, then you get liens and interest and all that, like anybody else does. So, as with any other abatement, um, we always advise that you pay your taxes so you can avoid the interest and everything else. But then you file an abatement, and the, the and an abatement is the legal process for disputing the value of your property. So, let me also say that, by the way, the nineteen thousand um, dollars doesn't come out of the budget. It's it's right. it's, it's overlay. So. Um, it's not part of, if, if you ever pay, if you ever noticed in our, our budget that there's not a line for abatement and overlay. There's a difference between, you know, accounting and, and budgeting. And abatement money comes out of something called overlay, which is basically, it, it fall, it's an auditor, it's, it's one of the auditor's functions. It's, it's you, you, you know, you do kind of put some money aside for it and kind of estimate it, which would be, higher on years immediately following revaluations because that's the time at which people are more likely to file abatements. Um, but I don't, you know, it's it would come out of um, the general fund. I, I don't want you to think as though you're affording it out of the budget. Here it says if PSNH were to win 2017 appeal at net book value, the, your refund would be $26,000. Why do you okay, so, have to pay okay, it? okay, so this then, is his letter. Okay, so then, so then that's be because of whatever happened um, in yeah. process with the negotiations, mm -hmm. and this is why it's still held up, uh, still in the court because PSNH is not agreeing with the value; they're not settling. Um, but the towns aren't either, and so they, they got the values. You know, so the values are still, I guess, have gone up rather than. Down. But they're also re referencing this HB 700. Have you read that? I Sorry. printed it. The HB 700. Not in full. Look at, I, mean, I have printed it, but I didn't have a chance to read. But it's about this. So. Yes, it is. So um, this says 26,000 plus interest. This. So it's saying using the HB. The 719. It says 19,000. Yes. Yeah. Making itself a good now. Well, now he's saying because of the HB 700 assessment, your okay. your you your refund would be about oh, okay. 75. Oh, okay. Yeah. Again, I didn't have a chance to read. So I'm not sure it. why. Like honestly, I, I don't understand why the value keeps changing. Yeah. Except to say maybe it has something to do with ongoing negotiations. That's what would make sense to me. Right. I don't know. But then on the other hand, if we don't accept this. Well, yes. So you have to attach yourself to the other two towns that are. He wants you to use the other attorney that is representing the other two yeah. Avatar towns, um, which would kind of make sense because Avatar, you know, consistent yeah. Avatar values. Um, but because we've passed filing periods, you're going to have more than your share, more than everybody else's share of legal expenses. Maybe there will be late fees and. Um, more work to do filing after the fact. A lot of out of our hands and kind of Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I think we should just take the 19,000. And hope that's what it is. That's and hope that's what it is, right? Because we won't know the final amount until. It's all done. All said and done, right? Yeah. But I don't think we should roll the dice. Well, that, I mean, Because we only spend 15,000 to get zero. Right. That, that's um, where you're at. It's, you don't know how it's going to end. So, we were with Chad Robert and Gary Robert. I mean, we're getting the letter from Gary, which is kind of like not matching what Chad was yeah. looking to do. So, did he not know that he could no longer be part of it? Or we have fell through the cracks. And if you saw in Gary's email, like he's acknowledging that we fell through the cracks because he thought we were part of the um, group represented by one of the other law firms. Why they didn't check that and know that? Well, you know, I'm that concerns me because they're working on our behalf, right? And so, I might it concerns, concerns me that we fell through the cracks and they didn't know this. That, 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 that's, that's, so is Gary, he is, who is he? Uh, Chad's father. Oh, okay. Okay, so he owns the business. Yes. That's what we didn't get. Right. Well, and, and because Gary is, is the one that has always maintained 
um, utility assistant. He just handles that. So it's what he's kind of semi-retired, but he he does the utility assistant. Yeah. Yeah. So he does say ignore prior communications. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> that's the, that's not prior. That's the most recent, isn't it? This one's um, well, no, it's the 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 email is the most recent. Yes. No, the one that says it was Friday afternoon. Oh. Okay. Are you and the board to seriously consider and accept this offer immediately? So, what do they get? What does Avatar get? If we are they getting a piece of this? That's a really good question. I'm just. You know, the, the I think they have, well, so everything's shut down. Yeah, where no, we're not no, going to have it. anything. And the urgency is that we are not part of any yeah. represented suit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, otherwise, Avatar doesn't have any vested interest except they have an unrepresented town, which probably causes an issue for them. Mm -hmm. um, so, he needs to know within the next few days. If the town wishes to go to a hearing, the attorney may need to get the motion to the expert report. All that will begin to cost the town. Because we will have to pay out for any of So we'll be probably far over what our settlement is. Well, and you're going to have to continue to pay attention to the conversation. So yeah. You know what's going on. Yeah. You don't lose that. I just, you know. think, well, but I also think we need to bring them on notice that they should have done this way sooner. They are working on our behalf. We should at least find out why we weren't notified. And diplomatically, just <laughs> you know what I mean. I just think that this should have been caught long. Right. And the only reason why I got caught is because we challenged him to do this, right? Well, because he was just going to do it. He was just going to do it, so you, we I said, hold it. Go, hold it, yeah. And then all of a sudden, all of this is coming out. It's like, you know, now everything's shut down, now you can't do it, and this and that, whatever. So I think they were really trying to, Chad was trying to brush it under the rug. Right. Yeah. Hurry up and settle, because that's yeah. what you do when you are otherwise up against late, it's late filing fees and stuff. Yeah. And so then Dad kind of. Yeah. Open the door and let us know what's going on. Okay, so is there something we have to sign or to say? No, I think it's enough if you would make a motion to um, so, settle, settle, settle the, the 2017 appeal. Yeah. No so I'll make a motion that we settle the 2017 appeal. Is that what? Abatement appeal. Abatement appeal. Yeah. Um, we have oh. a PSN. For a refund. For a refund. Of 90,000. Yeah, up to you yeah, because I could change. Okay, I'll I'll second that to the as I'm hearing. Okay, so settle the twenty seventeen debate in the PL with the PSMH. You refund up to nineteen thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll second that. Any further discussion? Okay, so we'll you know, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so you'll notify them tomorrow. Yes, I will notify them tomorrow. Um, since we're running short on time, I was hoping we could go into welfare before. Do we have any other non public personnel? Um, we can go into personnel if there's time and you want to do that. Yeah. Um, and then if you one? would, um, and then you all are going to recess the meeting until, um, or, or are you going to end the meeting? What do we have that has to be done? And um, there's nothing else that has to be done except, well, yes, I would do the transfer I, session. I move we grant yeah. the exception to. Oh, let's talk, yeah. Joe she's not here, right? She's not here. For okay. the transfer station to stick I'll second that. Um, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, okay. 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 No. no. We have an exception um, to approve. To grant um, to Geraldine Harshley, to her daughter. So that her daughter can take her trash for her. P A R S H M E N. Yes. And it's P H. Pressure. P A R S 
stage, tell me why. It's close to me. Um, okay, and then the other one is, um, did you see an email from and, um, from Mark Kutcher about um, there are, um, there's a family who bought a bunch of cemetery oh, yes, lots yeah. um, and they want to essentially sell back half of them to the town. They're not able to be used for burial, right? I guess. Yeah, it, yeah, it sounds like they're overgrown. Yeah, yeah. So that email is turned into a letter form for you to sign in your in your file if you uh, want to do that. Um, yeah, I think it's a little left. Um, and that's a building permit if you would sign that letter to you. That, that one. This one? Yeah. Okay, so the voice left is being resold for grave lots in Newtown Cemetery. Um, do you want to read the whole thing? I read Did you read it? Okay, so what they're saying is that I told them that we could talk to the town for refund. The town would have to refund the $1,050 and the other $1,050 $1, would come from the trust set on that lot. Um, so they're going to rewrite the paperwork showing ownership of only six graves instead of 12 because the other six are not functional. Does, does Mark agree with this? Yes, yes. He wrote that letter. he's the one okay. that kind of tried to get a, res so a resolution of it for us. useless. I mean, it'll just be like... It's just going to be open. It's just going to be open and exposed to land that's not going to have graves in it. Okay. So I think that's All right. Fair. Okay, so... Uh, you want to make a motion to accept Mark? Sure. Um, I'll make a motion to accept um, the recommendation from the cemetery, cemetery the chairman of the cemetery trustees um, to refund, is it 2100 
So it's another month. You can see where Steve Roberts is at. I would not work with him. If you want to play it. I'm not suggesting you play it, but you know, I, I'm also not suggesting that you need to come through like this with anything. Yeah, all right. I will also play it. Those are oh, the uh, yeah, the conference chairs. Um, we we I sent a link um, mm -hmm. yep. that Denise had found. Did they seem mm -hmm. to be okay? Yeah. All right. I'll make a motion that we um, approve purchase of one six six three Waldo Industrial. Put five chairs for the select board of administrator and secretary, and sixteen stacking chairs for the conference room with a total of one thousand two ninety two twenty seven. I'll we'll second that. All right. Any discussion on that? This is below the fifteen hundred dollar budget that we No, it was a thousand, so oh. it's about so it's out over. over. It was over because of the oh, shipping. Shit. Yeah. There's 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 no place that offered free shipping. No. Um, it was about finding chairs that, that worked, but um, okay. okay. No. So I mean but we have money within our there's section on the left of the budget. Okay with that? Okay. 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 All those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, we have a request for disbursement. Oh. Sorry. You have to fill out the forms that maybe should be Yep, I know that, yeah. So they asked for their $100. Uh, donation that we give to them. Um, so, I'd like to make the motion. Yep, it is. Um, all right, so I uh, move that we um, approve the request for disbursement to the Seacoast Shipyard Association for $100 in an annual uh, contribution. Okay, I'll second it. All those in favor say aye. 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 Um, purchase order 1662 to Tom Bell. This is for 10 hours a block, to, a block of 10 hours for the IT time because we have not any. Not we have not a half hour. Yeah. yeah so. Okay. so I'll move purchase order 1662 to Tom Bell for $760 for a 10 hour block of IT support. I'll second it. All those in favor say aye. 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 I mean, are we ready for this? Um, I believe that, yes, it's misbehaving. Tom's recommending we do it sooner rather than later. Okay. So that's the end of the okay. That, that's, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. And that was the black, that's black, black that's ink that's only, no color. Yep. Client, okay. Okay. So I'll move purchase order 1724 to Staples for $1,100 for a Lexmark printer for the DMV. Okay, I'll second it. Where's it coming out of? Um, it's probably going to come out of ex um, executive IT. Okay. You want to put that there? Yeah. Okay. Because the state mandates but doesn't pay, right? Okay. That's okay. Right. All right. So, any questions? Um, is there any residual value at the moment? I don't think so. I would probably save it for maybe. I think it's a good idea to have it as a backup, well, just in case. Just in case something goes. I wouldn't. I don't think it. You know, because it, it had a lot of. Um, um, I want to say um, jamming and stuff. But if she had gotten into trouble, she could have it as a backup. I yeah. wouldn't toss it just because it meets the regulations and just see how long. You know. But, okay. All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Checks. It's a window versus plain. 
It's a window on the um, Oh. 2,500 window and 1,000 regular. Okay. okay. So, so you're sending it because you, you're you having the uh, return address put on there. So that's, that's what the ink is. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'll move purchase order 1723 to digital ink. Yeah. Uh, for two hundred eighty-five dollars for thirty-five hundred dollars. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 budget for sure. So that's fine and you can certainly do that. Um, I, we, we should check in with them about, and, and I don't know if they have a way to determine, what, what's the state funding looking like? Because that's the only risk with waiting is that you could potentially lose, lose the state matching money. This is almost if you paid up, right? Well, guess what? It's half, so we get half of the episode rebate, and then we pay the other half. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we definitely have the funds based on projections that we have 
calculated. Um, yeah. Are you thinking we should be financing versus paying it all out, right? Um, I don't think there is a right or wrong way to approach this. I think it's just about advantages and disadvantages or a level of risk this way versus that way. Well, you, you pay more for ever since financing. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, and so... If but you also have the security of not worrying about coming up with money right now and what might happen to your budget. So, yeah. you know, there's no right or wrong answer to that. See, this is where I go back and forth in my head. Want to do one more we can talk about it at the next meeting? Um, well, let's go back to, are you too unified about the non-town hall facilities? Well, even those are 7,600 parcel dollars, which, and then we have plenty, and so we start yeah. the savings immediately. Mm -hmm. um, that, the payback is... Well, so, so although you're paying that in cash, mm -hmm. the net effect by the end of the year will be less it's than that because you have savings. Mm -hmm. right. right. And the, well, the, the, only, the only one I'm really concerned about is the fire station because he said that he has to that he, he can't replace lights anymore because right, yeah. he can't, they, that, that is it's the deal. wrong fixture or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So that one I'm concerned about putting off and putting off right. because he won't be able to do something. Um, so highway and transfer, I, we, we can wait. We could get fire yeah, stick yeah. done. and I, I think we should do these three. And then, and then and, and talk about this. And see, you know, maybe talk about it in October-ish to see where we are in October. I mean, I, I would, I would, I would ask when I submit those to EverSource, I will have them alert us if it looks like their funding is mm -hmm. diminishing, mm -hmm. so that you can have the upper, another opportunity to evaluate before it okay. is okay. really gone. If right. that's before October. Yeah. All right. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I feel so do you, feel so we're not, so we're, let's make a motion to right. do. Um, probably one of the time. Yeah, um, it doesn't have to be. Okay, so let me just add up the numbers to look at the exact number. Mm -hmm. Oh, she wants to add the individual oh, numbers. Okay. Uh, 281703. Highway. Nine seventy six forty three transfer ready um, three thousand eight hundred sixty eight forty seven fire. All right, so I'll make a motion that we um, enter into a contract with. Uh, Eversource um, to change out the lighting at the highway shed, fire station, and transfer station uh, in the amount of seven thousand six hundred sixty-one dollars and eighty-six cents. Okay, I'll second that. Any further discussion? Talk it through. Okay. Um, if you would. This is the wrong one. That's the oh, that's the wrong one. All right, okay. There are other ones are in my hand. All right, sorry. Yep. Okay, so I sign here. Do I sign on that too? Yes. Okay, so we sign signature by, by signing the law of authorized the repayments. Oh, you know, oh no, that's no, that's for the that's for the financing. Okay. So, yes, you're just on the front page. Um, but also on page three of four, it looks like that's you too. Yeah, because we have we're not signing this one because we're not doing the we're not doing the payment option. Right. The, so, right. So, so we don't have to do the loan option. Right. We're doing it up front. So so then it's on page three of four. Okay. Yes. All right. So we, we had a motion and that's passed, right? Do we vote? Do we vote? Oh, I thought we did. Yeah. No. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. So, um, so he'll sign it after us? Yes.
Okay, sorry. I'm um, supposed to do four or four? No, you don't do four or I four. did three or four. Okay. And three or four. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to take your... Okay. And then he'll sign it and send us a copy of both of them. Yes. Okay. So is there a chance that the funding has already went off? I don't think that's going to happen. They just sent these. It's going to
just pertaining to the town hall. You know, I think fire and police still should come to the board. What do you think? Um, well, I mean, that's the purchasing policy, right? Um, yeah, but that's just something we want to have addressed, but probably on a... Yeah. You probably should look through and see, you know, okay, how much should it... Should I be looking for to have the authorization to approve? I think that we should be giving you some kind of a value. But I have no idea what that is. You know, you would have more of an idea once you see things, you know, coming through. Because items that come through Town Hall are... I mean... Like tonight, we had the printers, envelopes. Yeah. Um, See, envelopes to me, you should, that was a, you should have been able to sign that. You know, just um, um, printer, right. I think that was a lot of money yeah. and it was demanded of us because of state regs, not. And it wasn't budgeted. And it wasn't, and it wasn't budgeted. budgeted. You know, for sure, non budgeting items that would, you know, a thousand is, is really something that has to come to the board mm -hmm. because state of New Hampshire is putting regulations on us and not funding it anymore. You know, but yeah. um, but I think you know envelopes it doesn't have to come to us. The drop box. I mean, if you all think that that's an important thing, that really doesn't have to come to us. Okay. For 150. So you know what I mean? I will revise the purchasing policy then based on your feedback, okay. so that you have a new copy um, that we can to review that would reflect. Um, more efficient operations. Yeah. And then you can see how comfortable you feel yeah. with that and, yeah. and have a baseline new policy um, to review. And the other thing is, I think we need to discuss um, the all staff reports to her. Absolutely. It uh, well, all town hall staff reports okay. to her. Upstairs, not downstairs, upstairs. Okay. I'm it's, it's, that's only well, one, it's just one, one more. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just but you need right. to have someone that they can go to that would be able to have to get an answer quickly, you know, if they need it to be. So I think that we should, not tonight, but think about it. Yep. But I think that we should definitely put that out there because MK reports to the town, not to us. So we, she's not. And Richard already reports to you as well as all of the secretaries. Tom reports to you. Is that it? Chuck. Tom reports Chuck. to you Chuck. and Chuck. So I think that. And, well, yeah, 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 all yeah. All yeah. Well, no, her administrative side answers. of it. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think we should think about that mm. and get that taken care of too. Well, because without it, the tax collector is lost in, you know, should. We don't ever see her. Well, we don't. Uh, we don't know what she works on. Right. I'm, I'm not saying there's anything she's not doing. No, no. But we have no idea. We have no idea. Uh, right. So I think that it, it makes sense that someone is someone that she can go to during the day. That so. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll take care of that and we'll put it on the next agenda. Um, okay. Staffing or something. Um, the other thing we need to think about is a time to interview our candidate for... Well, I think we should leave it open for one more. It's only sure. been posted for a week. Yes. So, and did you get to talk to her? I didn't get to talk a to her. A little bit, yes. Oh, um, I didn't get to talk to her. Yeah. Um, so, I would have to do it, but let's keep it up. Uh, I'll let it stay open for one more week, and if we don't get anybody, then we will certainly um, get to her. Uh, if she's still interested. Right. Yeah. Oh, I do have one more question. I'm sorry. Uh, when are you going to start your budget workshops? Um, they haven't been scheduled yet. Been Budgets scheduled are yet. due to the select board um, a week from a week from today, and as soon as we can get all that information integrated, I don't know how long you would want to look at that before you start discussing it. You should think about scheduling those things. Yeah, for sure. There yeah. will be extra. We'll, we'll definitely schedule it. Um, meetings. 
Well, I'm going to have to look at the schedule and see when, when uh, the budget committee has their, because we need to have our recommendations ready for that. So ready for that. Let me um, look at their schedule. Well, um, look at your Google Calendar. Mm -hmm. um, things in black. If you've hide, if you've selected to be viewing the budget prep calendar, mm -hmm. then you'll see in black when the budget committee is meeting for for what, and okay. it has other. Um, statutory deadlines for things going on relative to okay. budget prep and getting ready for the ballot. We can start um, with, I mean, we have to do ours. I mean, yeah. our budget isn't you. You're working on it. I'm working right? on okay. it. Okay. So, um, you know, we can start doing one at a time anyway and, and, you know, and then set up for a workshop. You can do that. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, do you both prefer um, scheduling a Monday when you wouldn't otherwise be meeting, or do you want to go to the Saturday mm -hmm. workshop idea? I'd rather not give up the Saturday. I don't have to. I'd rather give up a Monday. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe we we'll just do during the Every budget process. Is, the other one is going to be a budget workshop and just concentrate on budget. Yep. You know, so um, I'd rather do that than a Saturday. Oh, yeah. Because it, it, you're dedicating the whole night to it. So it, it, you should be able it to would be on it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, all right. Sound good? That's awesome. All right. So I'll look at the budget committee's schedule. And see what I. I'll put it on the um, agenda. Okay. All right. So we'll get an answer soon about scheduling. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So public comment before you. Oh yes, ma'am. Please. <laughs> I just want to thank you all for coming and making the effort to accommodate mm -hmm. this in the middle of the meeting, and yeah. I, I hope that it's. I, I, it was. It was. I was very happy um, that Ray had a chance to speak to people and tell them everything was happening. The, the positive side of yeah. it. You know, I, I still think we have an issue and we need to figure out how to handle that. But I was really happy to see that. Yeah. And it was a really impressive turnout, too. I yeah. With the speakers, there were over 80 people here. So yeah. Yeah. No, I'm that's, really happy about that. I think that's a good kind of measure. Yeah of the concern that people have and, and the interest that they have in mm -hmm. wanting to have information and be able to so maybe we'll schedule another one next month and yeah you know some of the other issues. I also think one of the things that we really or maybe because it's only district people, but one of the things that I don't think people realize or it doesn't get as advertised as much as the town meeting is and the and um, the budget committee meetings are, you know, we got to be better about putting that out, that this is well, I think the decision. You know, I think for years, a lot of those meetings were sort of under the radar right. for a reason. Right. And this one in particular, and it has been over the last couple of years mm -hmm. since we've had somebody actually evaluating what's going on mm -hmm. and have that brought to light, mm -hmm. that people are now suddenly interested, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's a good thing. That is a good thing for, for us yep. to that have that good. happening. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, my concern is that his contract is up next month. And my concern as well. And yes, you know, he could be fired and we could have somebody's brother who's never done anything back in charge and we're, we're right back to where we where started. Where we were before, exactly. Even though everyone who has been here and who was at um, the other meeting stating how wonderful a job that he's doing and it's just there's a clash of personalities and, and not being able to talk at a meeting is just not right. Yeah. Especially with people have questions. You well, want it from the source, not from the interpretation of the well, source. Well, I want yeah. it for I, my thing in life is I want the smartest possible people mm -hmm. to be in charge of things mm -hmm. as important as that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I think the people that were here tonight that are he obviously has good relationships mm -hmm. with all the people that we need to have the correct relationships mm -hmm. with. They, they stayed after the DES people for 20 minutes and talked to me about all the different mm -hmm. ways that funding is potentially available. Mm -hmm. You know, you work with those things. Mm -hmm. Just put your head in the sand mm -hmm. and wait for those pipes to blow out on Main Street and right. you have to shut down the school. Like, it's just so dumb. I know. I know. It doesn't make any yeah. sense. So, but in a post-truth and a post-fact world, Sometimes it's hard to have, you know, what is the best mm -hmm. be the thing to happen. So I thought tonight was great. I will, yes, I thank will, you for uh, I will work on getting another thing, you know, scheduled, and I will try to make sure that we don't do it on Monday.
Well, that was, you can do it. I appreciate it. Every other other way. Yeah. Right. Well, we'll yeah. Look, I yeah. should forgive it. Most of that was the teachers. That was the uh, night that we worked best for them. And that's fine. But that's fine. I think it's because of vacations when that's in the fall. Yeah. It'll be a little easier to get. Yeah. You know, get that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great. Thanks, All right. guys. Thank you for joining us. And we're adjourning at, what is it? Yes, it is.